Turbulence from the Liberal Party's loss of the Wentworth by-election has begun to swirl around Parliament. There was no question time today, but Liberals are talking openly about what went wrong and what the Morrison government needs to do to reset after defeat. Possible consensus is already beginning to emerge on the crossbench for the resettlement of refugees on Nauru. Here's political editor Andrew Probert. Safely home when it's safe to come home. Malcolm Turnbull ending his eight-week exile as the Liberals surveyed the ruins. Obviously the Wentworth by-election didn't go our way, um, which is very sad. Sad for some, maybe. Wentworth, a jewel in the Liberal crown, pinched in a purple haze. What we saw in Wentworth was a clear rejection of the Liberal chaos and dysfunction, the Liberal division and the Liberal policy failures. How are you? If a seat on a bumper 17% margin could fall, Liberals on margins of less than one are wondering why more effort wasn't made to defend it. I'm disappointed, of course, that Malcolm uh, did, wasn't a bit stronger in his support for the Liberal vote. I think that's been echoed by a number of members of our party. There's no question that the people of Wentworth had a message to send to the Liberals and they sent it loud and clear. With counting continuing, Karen Phelps is being cautious. I think one of the things the last 48 hours has taught me is to not count my chickens. Although others are already counting. We're talking about you government. and I'm asking who with, with whom do you pass legislation? as we have uh, in the last couple of months. Question time was cancelled today at short notice as a gesture to the national apology. That may have delayed some of Labor's more hostile analysis of the Wentworth result, but it certainly hasn't stopped the crossbenchers actively considering what pressure they can bring to bear on a government facing a hung parliament. Uh, no. Crossbencher Cathy McGowan says getting refugee children off Nauru is the top priority, urging Parliament to support government legislation that would allow New Zealand resettlement but ban them from ever coming to Australia. It needs the opposition to come to the party. Like, after all, it was, the, it was Labor who put the kids there, so they've got great responsibility. The Greens are also willing to conditionally support the government plan provided the children are first brought to Australia for medical assessment. If resettlement after that means resettlement in New Zealand, with limited restrictions just on that group, that's something we will consider. So I was going to shout to you. Yeah, Wentworth lovely. Shores face out towards New Zealand, and if the result there prompts a change of heart on refugee resettlement, children on Nauru could be the beneficiaries of its electoral upheaval. Andrew Proben, ABC News, Canberra.